So we're going to go through a uh, hip mobility circuit. It doesn't really matter what sport that you're going to play. You must have mobile hips. And you must have a, uh, a mobile thoracic spine. So we're going to go over four or five different movements on that that's going to help you. You're going to do this every day. It doesn't matter the sport. You need to be able to get into the positions. The more mobile you can get your hips and thoracic, the stronger you're going to be and the more stable you're going to be. The first one can be done with either a PVC pipe or a bat. Maybe for the uh, PVC for football players or uh, anybody that doesn't use a bat or a tennis racket, okay? We're gonna take weighted ball. I'm gonna have the weight going through the inside of my foot, okay? I wanna be able to plant on the inside of my foot. I don't wanna be on the outside just leaning into it. I wanna make sure that that foot is planted in there and then I'm gonna push right here and make sure that my glute on my glute medial on the side is pushing that knee out. Now, I'm gonna take this PVC pipe and breathe it out. You're gonna hold these positions about 15 to 20 seconds and then come back. 15 to 20 seconds, you're really gonna breathe it out and then come back. If you're a baseball player or a tennis player, you grab your, your bat or your tennis racket and practice holding that, that scapular um, right there and see what kind of mobility you have. You're going to feel it in this, in this uh, hamstring and this glute. The longer you push against this and the more you push and the more you get to your end range of motion, you're going to start feeling it under here. Okay? You'll go both ways. Now, go back to this side. Same thing. Plant. Here. I'm going to come back. So for our righty, this is going to really, we're going to really feel the stretch, which is what we need from a lefty on the other side. And then here. Because now I got to be able to stretch this here. Okay. Both sides, about 15 seconds a piece. 10 seconds a piece, you're going to do five reps. Then, you can use a uh, band on the knees if you want, okay? And you would hip thrust up and out. We're trying to get this hip in here, our shoulder, and our knee in a dead straight line, okay? Or without, knees are gonna be together. You're gonna come up as high as possible and hold for 10 seconds, okay? Trying to get up, if you start shaking, you know that you're out of shape, okay? That's not gonna be able to hold that position. Same thing, up and hold, okay? 10 seconds a piece. Now, the stretch is gonna be with the med ball. Go slow on this. Just know that you're gonna be here a minute, about a minute per position. I'm gonna just throw you three to four positions. Don't let yourself be in pain, okay? This is supposed to feel good but you have to open up the flexors, the hip flexors, your psoas, and your lumbar. We're gonna start it out under my tailbone. And I'm just gonna open up and just feel everything opening. So that's your first position. Come back a little bit farther, and I'll feel another stretch in a different position. Now, when we get to our, up on our lumbar, be careful, go slow. Another 30 seconds to a minute. And then another 30 seconds to a minute. And just relax, squeeze those scaps back, come back and let everything open up. Okay, we're gonna be doing that almost every day. We've got to get these hips in positions and uh, mobilized as well as strengthened, okay, so that we can, we can be the best that we can be.